Westlake area? Yeah. Okay, I got you. I know where you're And there was about. nobody that was selling beard oil out there, so I was like, I could try to get in what there. What about those marketers? Because those guys go to, like, I mean, military sometimes. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. It's fine. A little bit of a interruption. Okay, so uh, today we're going to do follow-up. And now there's two types of follow-up because there's the pre-sales process or our before unit follow-up. And then there's the after sale uh, follow up, but today we're just going to focus on the before unit follow up because that's what we're dealing with. Um, so we've got the before unit in action, we've got the bag drops are happening, um, so we're starting to get touches, which means we're starting to follow up with all of our guys. And I was doing some math this morning, so if we do 150 bag drops a month, and on average there's 12 follow ups with each person that you make contact with. Um, that means that there's going to be about 1,800 follow-ups mm -hmm. a month. And if you multiply that by 12, you're going to be doing about 21,600 follow-ups a year. So that's probably that means you're going to get good at it, I would think, yeah. after oh, yes. that many, right? Yeah. So if you think about that those numbers, it means that we're going to get a lot of swings mm -hmm. at the plate. So we're going to get a lot of opportunities. And uh, even if you fit, hit just a few of those out of the park, um, that could be very profitable uh, for everybody. So we're going to have a lot of options. There are a lot of tries, a lot of swings, and uh, we just have to hit a few of them and things can get really good. So even if you just hit one of those like we've been doing up front where they have reorder every week mm -hmm. out of the 21,600, maybe if you get three or four of those, you should be sitting pretty pretty good. So I know Marcus was telling me there's a military term uh, that he has in the you, you nuke something, and oh, that's yeah. actually a bad thing. So he's like, I don't want to nuke this call. <laughs> yeah, but you when go. you think about this, even with 21,600 attempts, even if we nuke a whole mm -hmm. bunch of them, we're not, we don't need to feel bad about it because we're going to have such a big full pipeline. Um, feel free to try some new stuff, try some weird stuff, try some crazy stuff, and if we nuke it, so what? doesn't matter. There's going to be a lot more swings and opportunities at the bat. So um, with all that being said, let's talk about what follow-up actually is. So it's not just an activity, but it's actually it's a mechanism, and it's a mechanism that helps us get what we want. So it doesn't even have to be just about business. Like if you guys, uh, I don't know what's your, what, are, what your relationship statuses are, but if you have to follow up the girl that you're going after, you got to follow up... Uh, just to, maybe you're trying to get a new car or something, you gotta follow up and make sure that you're staying on top of things. And so basically follow up is a mechanism that helps you get any opportunities that you're going after or what you want. And of course, what we're talking about today is it's gonna help us get the sale that we're trying to get. So it's a mechanism that's gonna get everybody, our clients to either say yes or no, so we can either close the deal or we can move on to the next thing on our pipeline and keep cooking and just get past the no and get on to the next thing. Because like I said, with all those opportunities, we don't need to waste a lot of time on people that aren't going to be buying from us anyway. So the more we follow up, we're going to get out of that yes or the no quicker. And uh, it's going to take time out of, the, out of the process and keep things going quick. So uh, what are a few methods of follow-up? We've got lots, of, actually. So I've got down here on my list, there's probably a lot more, but I've got, we've got email follow-up. We've got phone call follow-up. We can do a personal visit. We can do something a little bit different and do like a video follow-up so we can text message people a video or something like that. We could send them to a website where we posted a video that kind of follow-up. We could do a text message follow-up. We could follow up through social media. We could drop off a handwritten note. Um, we can do something like we're doing with Marcus here. He's working a guy and we're going to send them maybe just a proof or a design to kind of give them some real added value follow-up, something like that. Or another one we're going to talk about a little later is using a tag. So let's say that Marcus is kind of hitting a, a wall with his prospecting on this certain person, but he knows they're good. Maybe you can step in from a different perspective and say, hey, just wanted to touch base with you. I know Marcus has been working on you. Good. Haven't come to a deal yet. Is there something that he's not doing that I could help do for you? And so that's called kind of using a tag and using our buddy system and uh, helping each other close deals if we kind of run dry or run cold. So that's just a few uh, different methods, but the most important thing is that we can never rely on only one form of communication, so we got to mix it up. And so I was telling Marcus, uh, this guy, Grant Cardone, who we were talking about the other day, he says, be so frequent with your follow-up that people think you're a freak. <laughs> and uh, again, like I said, it's either going to get us to a yes or a no, so I don't feel bad about just 
follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, and getting that answer as quick as possible so we can just be as efficient as possible at the same time. So now another thing that's important about follow up is that I think we touched on this, but you've got to be creative and you've got to add value because you can only send the same follow up, the same follow up message so many times before people either get sick or tired of you or they just start deleting everything that you send them. So you got to be creative and you got to add value with all of those with all those follow ups that we do. So we can't just send a carbon copy message and say the same thing to everybody because it's probably not going to be as effective. It might work a little bit, but it's not going to get us the same value as if we add value to them each follow up. So just think Vafu. Vafu, Vafu, Value Added Follow-Up. Just make that a little four-letter acronym that you always think about. Vafu, um, Value Added Follow-Up. So before you send any follow-up message, find a way to add some Vafu into it. So get that going, and uh, I think people are going to really appreciate that instead of just the normal, boring robot follow-up. Um, and then here's the other thing. However many follow-ups you think something's going to take, you probably just have to multiply it by 10 because it never happens as quick as you're expecting. But it also, uh, the more you do it, the more you're going to get results. So people are so busy and you know they have so many ways people are coming at them from every angle. They've got other stuff that they're worrying about with other than work. Um, so there's a lot of chance, good chance that lots of the follow-ups you send them, they don't even, aren't even going to see them. So that's why maybe you might send them three things and hear nothing. They maybe they didn't even see it yet. So we just got to keep, keep consistent, keep going at them, and keep up with the follow-ups. Um, and we just have to find a way that what we're saying is going to kind of pop out at them and get through all the noise and make a difference and get us noticed. So that's why we're going to try and be creative and add value. And the other thing that's interesting is maybe the timing is off, right? So maybe right now they don't need that trifold that Marcus is trying to sell these guys, but in 30 days, maybe they're going to go to a trade show and they're like, oh man, I need, I need these trifolds right away. And if we keep following up with them, 30 days, that's going to be the right time. They're going to say, okay, I, I, I do need it now. So they might not need it today. But if we keep that follow-up process going, we might get them at the time when they really do need it and they're ready to pull the trigger. Um, so creativity follows commitment. So if you guys are having trouble you know, getting creative with the follow-up, you just got to buckle down and kind of commit to it. So you got to, if you're not committed, you're probably going to be not quite be as into it and you're not going to have those creative ways. But I know you guys are new and you're ready to go and you want to make some money, so you already have the commitment down pat. I don't think it's going to be a problem for us. And the more committed we get, the, the more creative we're going to get. Um, so we're just going to, it's kind of a weird way to say it, but we're just going to keep cracking them over the head until they say yes or no. Just keep going at it. this is Going bit. hard. <laughs> and uh, here's the mindset that we're going to keep in here as well. So we've got the Bafu. And the other thing we can say is we're just going to follow up until somebody dies. So whether it's us <laughs> or them, we're just going to keep on following up. And the only way I think we should quit doing the follow up is if they literally say like, hey, leave me alone, get out of here, stop bothering me, don't talk to me again. Because at that point, obviously the deal is probably blown. But if we don't get to that point, I don't see why we don't keep following up with them. We don't have to be pests and, you know, be stupid about it, but if we just do it with a, with a, you know, a plan, <laughs> and if we add value, then I think we just keep going at it until no, we get a yes They want to buy from us. It's not, even, it's yeah. not even an option. Yeah. So, I, like so I want to see, I want to just try this with you guys for a second. Can I use your whiteboard here? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we have to put that up soon. We will do that, but I just want to see, I got to go grab something from the front. But I just want to see how quick, do you guys know what, is this the right markers? Yeah, yeah, those are all good to use. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. You guys know what that number is? Yes, yeah, a billion. It's a billion? Do you know that right away just by looking at it? One billion dollars, yes. So three commas is a billion. And I, if you write that number in front of a lot of people, they're going to be like, oh, I don't, I don't even know what that number is because they don't even, doesn't register in their mind. Um, but it's important to familiarize yourself with what your goals are. So I'd like to get a billion. I know it's a big target. Yeah. But at the other, other point of things is even if I shoot for a billion and I screw up and I only get a hundred million, that wouldn't be too bad, right? <laughs> okay. okay, so I just gotta get one thing, I'll be right back. I like it. It's a jam right here, man. Glad you're back though, sir. Man, I'm, I'm glad to be back. You have no idea. I felt bad, man. I, I was gonna reach out to you yesterday and say, real, how's the front going? I I, 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 I feel bad. I feel bad for not reaching out to you. No, you're good. You are good. All right, so good. 
Marcus is gonna make a, make some money right now, but I think just put this in your hands and you know smell it a little <laughs> bit, get familiar with it, feel it, just let it sit in your hands for a bit there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get, get this on video. Because <laughs> if you, the more you get cold hard cash, yeah. baby, straight with cash, it, you homie. Know how it feels. Yeah. Um, it's just I think it's gonna be a lot easier for you to go get it. For sure. So. Who's got my money? Who's got your money? Now let Dylan yeah, do the same like thing. It. Who's got my money? So just get really, get really who's comfortable. My Maserati. Get really comfortable with that, because you're okay. gonna have a lot no. of it. So yeah, no, absolutely. Well, you might as well get used to it. Now absolutely. And make it happen. Okay. Get the beard oil then. So I think, are you ready to make the call? Oh, let me, let me. Uh, I need to, I need to piss real quick. Okay. Then I can definitely. Oh, okay. I'm definitely okay. Ready. We're gonna video it and everything because we got to get our first sale uh, yes, on. So we're we're in the dirty kitchen. Just Yo. Marcus is getting psyched up right we're now. Waiting. He's yeah. coming back. He's doing the walk. Is he here? Ta-da okay. Ta-da Let's get it. Let's go. Now uh, here's the other thing. If we nuke it, doesn't matter, man. Just go for it, because uh, either way, it's gonna happen eventually. So let's exactly. take time out of the equation and get it now. So just as an update for the vlog here. Uh, he's calling to close a deal right now, the first one, his first official uh, outside sale. So we're gonna get it, get it on camera here while it happens live. No pressure. No. No, pressure. none was ever. I'm excited. Let's when you do this. when you look back on this in five years, yeah. you're gonna right. be like, man, remember that? Remember, 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 that? remember we said that small ass <laughs> office. Now look at us. Look at the entire city. All right, I'm about to call him right now. Okay. Hey Jack, this is Marcus from Alpha Graphics. I was just calling in regards to the estimate that we were we're gonna send through uh, for really, four hundred and ninety-seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Uh, whenever you whenever you're ready to make that payment, so we get that that uh, order order made for you, call me back so we can do that. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, to be continued. <laughs> Sorry. What do you I got? I was looking for that. What is it? Oh, pile of cash. we were. I was letting them feel it so that they could oh, get I familiar, noticed, familiar I with the disappeared. Familiar with the feeling of, of money. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll have to continue up off with that later uh, when he calls. So, Alpha Graphics yesterday with the business cards. Hey, what's going on? I was just wanted to see if uh, you're ready to process that payment so we can get the order going. Yes, sir. I'll call you back in 30 minutes. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. So how, what, what, how many times have you talked to him now? So this is my... You had the ri original... Yesterday. Well, they called you, so you yeah. talked to them once. And then... You went to the meeting. And I called him yesterday. Yeah. Or what, did, what is the is the estimate considered a touch? You sent it to him, yeah. Okay, so then I then I called him back because they didn't respond back to it. Okay. And then this was yesterday. Yes. And then I called him this morning. Okay. And he just called back. Where are we at? Seven. Six. Six. And then I'll call him back in thirty minutes. Okay, so I seven seven touches mm -hmm. and still nothing yet. But number eight will be next. Yep. And eight might. Sounds like it's gonna be the one, so that's just a great example of how many follow-ups it sure. takes just to get one sale. Um, but we'll check back in 30 minutes. Okay, see you then. Wow. Welcome back to the Dirty Kitchen. Just in case you guys didn't uh, realize, that's what we were calling this place, and if you don't know why, then go back to episode one. Uh, but so I know you guys know me, I'm Taylor Abbott, and uh, I introduced myself as well earlier, but we're gonna introduce you to the other stars of the show. Uh, so we're gonna start with Dylan Elias. Did I say that the right yes, way? Yes, you did. Okay, so here's Dylan. 
and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So my name is Dylan Elias and I just joined Alpha Graphics. I'm super excited. Okay, um, what'd you do before? So before I was working, I did a little bit of uh, retention as well as sales with uh, DirecTV Winback. Okay. Uh, so I did that and then I also worked with a company named Alpha Warrior who did a little bit of uh, engineering products, uh, se selling merchandise, as well as hosting events, uh, social media, uh, a lot of cool fun things. Demonstrate, I was a little test dummy as well uh, for the company. But um, now that I'm here, focus on, on sales and, and uh, just focus on growing. Okay, and why did you choose, what, what makes you excited about sales? Why did you choose it? Well, particularly this job, because every business could use our business. And we can use uh, every business to the max as in to grow the community, um, you know, in every single way, in every fashion. So it's just perfect opportunity. It's endless opportunity, um, you know, and it's just a ladder that we're trying to climb here. Cool. And then, uh, so today is day, what, for you, four? Today is day four going on. Okay. Yep. And you made your first official sale today? I did, I did. Okay. I did. And how'd that feel? It felt great. It felt great, but we need more. We need okay. More. And, and not let's, satisfied. when we come back to this video in six months, what do you hope that you're going to be saying to the camera when I, we check back? I'm hoping when we check back, I'm going to say, hey, um, I'm gonna take a nice little trip uh, out to wherever I would like. Uh, and man, that's actually a really good question. There's a lot of things I would like to say, you know, later on. But I would definitely like to take myself on a trip um, as, as a random. You know, that, just, you, that you're in with your sales commissions? Yep, yeah, with okay. the sales commission, I'm uh, one of the first ones, just take like a quick three day weekend trip and just go come right back and just post it and show it and then back to work again. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, so that's Dylan. Let's introduce you now to Marcus Beverly. And oh. this is, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself like Dylan just did. All right, so my name is Marcus Beverly. Prior to this, I was turning wrenches at Valvoline for the past year. So it was definitely, it's definitely been a, uh, a transition, but definitely heading in the right direction. Um, we're in the dirty kitchen, we're live. It gets messy in here, but it's also fun in here. Um, why did you choose sales? A sales position. Why did you want that for? Why did I choose sales? Because I I have a, a side business on the side of this. As as you continue to watch these videos, you will notice the beard getting longer and the hair getting longer. So I make beard oil on the side. So definitely look out for that. I'm not trying to take any. I'm not trying to promote any of that stuff here. But that's I do that on the side. Um, I came in here. Taylor helped me out, he was awesome. I asked about an opportunity, he asked me if I wanted to apply, I said yes, I'm grateful for it. I can't wait to, I can't wait to hit the streets more, prospecting, selling, making more money. Um, Y'all might know me here as Marcus, or Maserati Marcus, <laughs> or Bevy Bev, or, or just, there'll, there'll be different acronyms throughout the whole, the AKAs, different aliases I'll go by while you continue to watch. Okay, tell us about your first sale that you closed this morning. So my first sale, it was a set of business cards for a, for a uh, demolition company. So we had to do the, I met with the gentleman yesterday, Got it, we, we got a logo designed for him or that we're designing for him, getting a set of business cards made for him, his son, his operations manager, and his office manager. Cool. Okay, and we're in, if, when we come back in six months, what do you want to be saying to the camera from six months from now? Oh man, um, six months from now. Well, hopefully our, my, my sales goals will jump from selling $1,000 a month Okay. To uh, selling about, I want to say, I want to sell it, have at least sold about $50,000 in, in a month by that time. Okay, that's pretty audacious. So what's your going to be your main thing that's going to get you to that point? If you had to choose something, what's, what's it going to be? I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep calling, keep calling people, keep prospecting, keep digging, keep searching, keep working, staying hungry, all of that. Just working hard, making sure that, you know, that I'm... I'm putting my, my best foot forward. Um, I like the finer things in life and I want to go out and get them. Cool. Okay, well that's the team. So we thought we'd introduce you quick and uh, tune in for the next episode. Cheers!